Action! Okay. So, apparently, Amy's channel has been, had a few requests. I guess she's right over there. If I keep looking over there, it's because I'm looking at her. Um, I can enter anytime. But apparently, she's had a few requests for, like, the record collection and stuff like that. So, I'm going to go through just a short portion of it. I'm going to try to keep this to about five minutes. Um because we've got about 600 records total. Um, but here's kind of, here's, here's the equipment. We've got several different systems. Um, but this one down here, this is uh, 1977, 1978. It's a Techniques uh, SA5370. It's a pretty good little receiver. Actually found it in a vacant house. Fired it up, everything works, it's awesome. Um, did you find that at one of the rentals that I had? Yes. Yes. Um, this turntable is a Techniques SL1200. It's actually a DJ turntable. It's from it's from mid 70s. It, believe it or not, I, it looks like way newer than that. But uh, I actually got pretty lucky finding this one. It's about a $600 turntable, and uh, got a really good deal on it. So that's what that that's like what we play most of the records on. Like if we have people over and stuff, we kind of congregate in in this room off the kitchen. Um, <clears throat> all I've got in here, we've got like two. We've got a couple Yamaha speakers on speaker stands. They're Yamaha three-way NSA89s. So it's got. It, I mean, it's loud enough. It ain't. We're not a club, so we're not trying to do anything crazy. Right, baby? That's right. But occasionally, I don't know, we kind of sometimes uh, occasionally we do turn it up and the kids get upset with us. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of Freddie Mercury this deal yeah. real quick. Um, use it as a so this is a little record wall that I built just to kind of, just it, it's cool because it's art, but it's movable art. So like we'll, we're constantly, every couple weeks, we'll change records out and stuff. Um, it holds 12. And so... Right now, up here we've got the Clash, Combat Rock, Combat Rock, excuse me. Of course, it's got uh, Rock the Casbah on it. Duran Duran Rio, which has Hungry Like the Wolf, right Rio. Out. Right uh, out, um. Planet Earth, actually, Planet Earth's not on there. The Chauffeur, um, great album. This is called The Hype Sticker, by the way, if you don't know that. It actually ups the value of the record a little bit. U2 War. Um, this is from 81, 82. Uh, great, great album. I looked for this for a long time. Um, New Year's Day. Uh, what other songs on it, baby, besides New Year's Day? can't remember. There's another really, really big song on it. Um, Guns N' Roses, Appetite for Destruction. If you were... If you're our age or within 10 or 15 years of our age, I'm 48 almost... Um, you know about Guns N' Roses' Appetite for Destruction. My God, are you um, 48 this summer? Yep, I'm going to be 48, baby. That one, that one right there, when I bought it, it, it actually came with a window sticker uh, back in 1987, and the window sticker was still in that one, so that's, that's kind of cool. Um, this is one I picked up just a couple weeks ago. It's yeah. actually a single, NXS Suicide Blonde. It's a sealed copy. Um, I haven't opened it yet. This was actually a DJ copy. Um, there's a guy that I know that bought a bunch of old records off of a DJ, and this just happened to be one of them that was in there. So this one's circa 1987, 1988. Um, we'll open it at some point and play it. Um, <clears throat> you 2 the Joshua Tree, probably needs no introduction. Um, again, if you're if you're our age and you you lived through the whole grunge movement and you know all about Alice in Chains, Dirt. Um, Van Halen 5150, iconic Van Halen album, the first Van Halen album that had Sammy Hagar on it. Um, Rush, 2112, um, kind of a must-have album. Let's see, Temple of the Syrinx, great song, Passage to Bangkok, just a great album all the way through if you were a progressive rock fan or old 70s progressive rock. Minute work, bit business as usual. This is an album that, to me, is really underrated. You can listen to this thing all the way through. Of course, we all know Down Under and um, 
Be Good Johnny, but, but this whole album is good start to finish. Um, here's a Talking Heads album from 1978. That's a great album. Uh, it's got Take Me to the River on it. Love that song. And then from about 82, 83, The Cars, Heartbeat City. Um, it's got Drive on it. Uh, what else is on there? This one's got several. Well, I can't see who's inside. But uh, that's a great album. On the uh, on the turntable right now, I've got this. Pick this up today, Rainbow. We listen to uh, Stone Cold. <clears throat> Over here, we've kind of got. We've probably each one of these little things. Bear with me while I do this. So in here, there's probably about a hundred records a piece um, in these little sections, and so I've kind of got it broken down. This is country over here, and there's probably, I don't know, there's probably 50, 60 records right there of country. We don't listen to country a whole lot, uh, but we do. This is kind of 80s pop, Tears for Fears, Madonna, Yes, Stevie Nicks, uh, Sade, Adam Ant, The Cars, Big Country. When we have, we have some friends over that we listen to records to a lot, and... Is that thing in the way? No. And uh, and so this is kind of a go-to pile. These are all in plastic. This is kind of my 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 little babies right here. Um, I'll flip through them real quick. Led Zeppelin presents. Jay Giles band, which was on a pre previous video. It's in the red vinyl. Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. Damn the Torpedoes. It's got Refugee on it. Here comes my girl. Even the Losers, great album. Fine Young Cannibals. Um, this could be in that 80s pile, but this has got uh, She Drives Me Crazy. It's, she Drives Me Crazy. It's also got Good Thing on it, great album. Wang Chung, Dance Hall Days. Def Leppard Vault. Uh, this is a Greatest Hits album from Def Leppard. Pretty much everything. Pretty much, if it's a Van, if it's a excuse me, I was gonna say Van Halen. If it's a Def Leppard song and it was popular, it's probably on this album. Pretty much one of my favorite albums of all time. Yeah. Um, Billy Idol, Rebel Yell, great album. Uh, it's got Rebel Yell. Also has Eyes Without a Face. How good's How good's Eyes Without a Face, baby? It's amazing. Eyes Without a Face. GNR Lies. Picked this one up a few weeks ago. Um, this is the only copy of this album I've seen. You really don't see too much of it, so had to pick that one up. White Snake. Yes. Still the night. Um, I think here I go again is on here. Here I go yeah. again. Here I go again is on here. And uh, is this love? Is this love? Is this Great song. Love that I'm feeling. Here's Amy's favorite album. Tool, Lateralist. I'll show you this real quick okay. because it's really cool. Shane comes home one day. I got tickets to go see Tool. And I said, oh, I'm not going with you. Call Alex. He calls Alex. Hey, kid, I'm taking you to see Tool. So my 24-year-old and Shane went and saw Tool. It was amazing. That was graphic. For them. Graphics on both help. That's good. Hold on. Hold on. Back up here. I'm not a Tool fan, but look at the album. That's why I just showing them. I know, but you got to hold it there for a minute. you got to let them absorb the... I get, I love this because it's anatomy and physiology on a record. Just neat to me. I'll get out of your show. Yeah, that that's cool. I'll get out of the Shane May show. Prince, 1999. Thank you very much. George Michael Faith. That copy was sealed when we got it. And so kind of a neat deal um, when we unsealed it. We actually did it with some friends. And if I can pull it out here. We all signed. We all signed it and it was unsealed on 31619. We all signed it. So that oh, album was that I album was it? from 1987, was packaged and sealed. You can't see my face on this baby. This item it was packaged and sealed in 1987 and 32 years later we get to open it and listen to it. So that was cool. Um, ACDC, Back in Black, a must have, obviously, for obvious reasons. Robert Plant, Now and Zen. 
just lighting is not helping. This is a lot of people aren't Robert real Robert Plant fans. Um, I kind of am a Robert Plant fan. She doesn't like Zeppelin, but this this album this was probably this is 1988. This was probably his best album that he's ever made. I like Robert um, Plant. I don't like Led Zeppelin. This this album all the way through is a good album. Um, I also have Robert Plant Manic Nirvana. Um, this was a good album. I think that was I think that's 91. Um, the Doors. Greatest Hits, Robert Plant, Principle of Moments, um, you'll know this album, songs like In the Mood, uh, I guess that's the only one on, Big Log, Big Log, Big Log is one of the greatest songs that Robert Plant ever put out. We've got some, ZZ, some old ZZ Top, I like old ZZ Top, um, I'm not a big 80s ZZ Top fan, but this is Trace Hombres. ZZ Top's first album, Fandango. Um, Fandango has uh, Tush on it, uh, Mexican Blackbird. Great album. First album is just real bluesy. I don't think there's any there were any any real hits on here, um, but a real bluesy album. I think it's from '69. And then, of course, Trace Hombres. Trace Hombres has Waiting for the Brass. Jesus Just Left Chicago. Um, LaGrange. Everybody knows LaGrange. We're Tulsa people, so best of Leon Russell, kind of a local celebrity. Journey Frontiers. If you have one Journey album, it must be Frontiers. Yes! Faithfully. Um, Separate Ways. Send Her My Love. Uh... Great listen all the way through. Def Leppard, High and Dry. Michael Jackson, Thriller. The now the second best-selling album of all time. Um, best-selling album of all time now is actually Eagles Greatest Hits, but this is the second best-selling album of all time. Led Zeppelin II. Um, Stevie Wonder, Songs in the Key of Life. This is a pretty sought-after copy the cool thing about this one and I bought this is about a $30 album the cool thing about this go. one can you turn the fan off um, the cool thing like about this one is it actually came a lot of times you don't get the get the accompanying book in it this came with the book it also came with a 45 in here um, I bought this for 10 bucks man. I think the people that had it didn't really know what they had um, I think that's happened a few times Eric Clapton, 461 Ocean Boulevard. Um, Eric Clapton hung out in Tulsa a lot back in the early 70s. Um, so kind of the cool thing about this album, um, shout out to Tulsa boy, Jamie Oldacre, um, or Old Decker, as you may say. Wait a minute. I know, that's what I'm getting to, baby. Okay. Um, him and my mom actually dated for a short <laughs> period of time. So he's actually, he, he played like songs like I Shot the Sheriff. He played the drums on that track. And we so, saw him not too long ago. Yeah, we saw him. Uh, it's been a couple years now. Okay, but, yeah, we, we ran into him out of the bar. So we're out at the VFW and Shane's like, there's Jamie Oldecker. I don't know who he is. He's like, gave me the whole spiel about how he played with Eric Clapton and blah, blah, and blah. Seeger and Seeger. And he's like, he dated my mom. So his mom came over on Easter we're showing his his mom wasn't a groupie, but she was in with she, she was a hippie, and so she knew a lot of famous rockers, and she dated Jamie Oldecker. Um, Alice Cooper was hot after her. Alice, Co Alice she worked, Cooper. She worked in a bar way back when, and like when a lot of the acts like Clapton and, and Seeger, when they were running around in Tulsa, they would come to that bar. Um, and they would hang out at the at the bar, and so she kind of got to know a few of those people like that. But but at the time that she met uh, Alice Cooper, she was actually working at a hotel downtown, and he happened to be staying at that hotel while he was playing here. And, and he, he wanted was, to go out was, with her. So he was trying bad. to get her to you know. And she told him no, no, she, no. Yeah. But she dated Jamie yeah. Oldecker. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, she was never. His mom is a doll, and yeah. she she was a little hippie, and she knew a lot of these people. Sorry, I had to put that in. That's there. That's cool. Um, 
Led Zeppelin 1, must have. Let me just go through this. Good times, bad times. Babe, I'm going to leave you. You shook me. Days are confused. Your time is going to come. Black Mountain Side, communication breakdown. I can't quit you, baby, and how many more times. This was their first album. What a great album. Led Zeppelin 3, in excellent condition. Led Zeppelin in through the outdoor, in excellent condition. In the evening, do yourself a favor and just sit back and listen to In the Evening. This album cover, probably most of you recognize, it's Led Zeppelin 4. Um, Stairway to Heaven, obviously, is the, is the most prevalent song on this, but that's what that is. Um, Pink Floyd, A Momentary Lapse of Reason, this is 1987. I think this, for Pink Floyd album, this was, this was really, really underrated. Um, this is a great album all the way through. Um, songs like One Slip, Learning to Fly, people probably recognize. On the Turning Away, just a great, great album. Um, Foo Fighters, Greatest Hits, Police, Synchronicity. Um, doesn't get much better than that. But that section of albums is just kind of their albums that are in real good condition um, that I, I've got plastic on. I've got plastic on several things. but um, Over here we have like Southern Rock. Um, the Southern Rock stuff is like Almond Brothers. Dickie Betts, who played with the Allman Brothers, Marshall Tucker Band, Leonard Skinner, um, John Mayall, just some stuff like that. Um, cool album here, which is actually, you don't see a whole lot of, Buckwheat. Um, this is a great Southern Rock Blues album. Um, and this one actually came from, uh, I think this was actually my mom's back when she was a 17, 16, 17 year old hippie back in 1970. Um, over here is kind of easy listening stuff. Um, I won't go through all these. I was just kind of telling you some of the categories, how we have them sat here. But uh, this is kind of easy listening. Jimmy Buffett, Bruce Hornsby in the range, Bonnie Raitt, that old Bonnie Raitt stuff is oh, awesome. Yeah. Um, Johnny Rivers, Randy Newman, Ry Cooter, Dire Straits, can't go wrong with Dire Straits, Seals and Cross, Harry Chapin, Gordon Lightfoot, uh, Crosby Still, Crosby Stills, Nash and Young. Come on. Can um, I interject real quick yeah. on Bonnie Wright? Yeah, you were at 17 minutes. Okay, well we got a few more minutes. We went and saw um, James Taylor. James Taylor, and Bonnie Wright opened up for him a few months ago, and everybody knows who Bonnie Wright is. It's Bonnie Wright, whatever. To go see her in person was a whole magical experience. I didn't know, Shane didn't know, our friends Kelly and Michelle did not know what an amazing blues singer she was. And she talked about all kinds of history and all the people that she sang with. And you guys probably already know this, but we're newbies. And to see her in person was, it was an out of orbit experience. I mean, she was amazing and since then the four of us me shane kelly and our friends kelly and michelle have become huge bonnie ray fans she's amazing if you're into albums if you're into the blues if you haven't experienced bonnie Raitt, go way back to early her, stuff 70s stuff go way back and her voice is incredible she's a beautiful soul she's a beautiful person she's real She's and, genuine. And she can still sing. I don't know how old she is, but her voice was. In, she can still sing. She can still play. Great storyteller. She can sue the soul. She, she was awesome. Um, over here, this is this is more like '80s, '70s, '80s rock. Queen greatest hits. Uh, Leonard Skinner. That should probably be over there in the Southern rock. Van Halen, 1984. The Who. Who's next? Ted Nugent. Stranglehold. Steely Dan. Uh, Def Leppard Pyromania, Black Sabbath, Montrose, which if you guys don't know about Montrose, early Sammy Hagar and Ronnie Montrose, man, listen to that stuff. Kiss, Double Platinum, Boston, Kiss Alive, Billy Squire, Bad Company, you cannot go wrong with bad, any Bad Company album. Uh, but that's mostly like 70s classic rock and 80s uh, kind of classic rock. Over here we have a lot of like Funk, Motown, Soul, um, Otis Redding, War, 
Smokey Robinson, Marvin Gaye, Dr. Hook, Teddy Pendergrass, more Stevie Wonder, The Spinners, The Commodores, I Can Tina, Four Tops, Flip Wilson, Sister Sledge, Ronnie Laws, George Benson, Curtis Mayfield. Come on, guys, the list goes on and on. I mean, how do you... Come on. Come on. Let's just close our eyes and pick one. Let's go. <laughs> Rich, Richie Havens. I mean, what are you gonna do? Pull up some wood. Pull up some Woodstock footage and watch some Richie Havens. His fingernails are about as long as my pinky is, but Richie Havens can play. Don't even go over here on this. You, you stay over here. <laughs> you stay Special there. accent. Yeah. You gotta have VIP. You, know, um, you gotta have VIP for this section. <laughs> well, that's like the. She ain't, if they got plastic, she can't touch them. She don't touch these. <laughs> I do, I do too. I just want you to know the other night he went to bed and I stayed up. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that I had a little date with Otis the other night while Shane was in bed. It was me and Otis. We listened to both sides of um, almost all three records that are in here. Me and Otis had a little affair night. And um, it was a beautiful thing. I love him. And he died at a tragic young age. So that's it for this section. Um, we've, right, we've got. One. We've got out, like, if you look over there, there's albums underneath the little bar. Albums, albums. You've got albums under albums. there? Albums. we got another room in oh, the back. Oh, come back here real quick. No, because it's kind of, it's, it's... That'll be chapter two? Yeah. Um, we got albums back there, and we've got a couple other uh, receivers and turntables back there. It's more of an intimate room. Uh, out here is kind of the party room. That's kind of the intimate room. Um so anyway, we'll we'll do another. We're at 21, 22 minutes right now, so that's probably too long. Um, but we'll do another one. But that's kind of it in a nutshell, baby. Shout out to all the vinyl lovers, and we will definitely do. Um, well, I won't. Shane will. Um, I love this as much as he does, but he's more knowledgeable than I am. And so, um, if you want more, we'll do a chapter two. We did this because it's something that we love. And we've got a, a, some friends of ours that love it, and um, it's, it's kind of a sacred thing for us. And we'll definitely do a chapter two if you guys want to see more. Um, we had gotten a request, show your vinyl collection, show your vinyl collection. So I think we even have vinyl in the garage. I mean, there's still, I mean, vinyl down here. Oh, yeah, there's boxes. vinyl in another room. These there's boxes, vinyl in the garage. Stuff in, movie soundtracks, which. Man, if you if you've got a turntable, just like on a Sunday, put on a movie soundtrack. You'll be surprised. Like, just cook or clean and have a little movie soundtrack in the background. If it was up to us, we would have vinyl going in the background of all of our videos. But I can't because we can't. Yeah, I was I'm... wanting to play a little something while we did this, but then I was like, eh, oh, we yeah. can't. Um, okay, that's it, baby. Okay. Well. Um, if that was something you guys enjoyed, let us know because we've got plenty more of where that came from. So, um, we've got music in every single genre. We love music of all kinds. So, um, there's a little taste of our um, evenings and weekends. And, uh, yeah, we'll just shut it down right now and uh, we'll have a part two if you guys want to see it. We love you guys. The Lord loves you more. Thank you, Shane, for showing our vinyl. Yep. Okay. Adios. Shout out to George Michael. George.